Oh god, a whole new meaning to dick push-ups. <laughs> Look at this. Yes! Can get you out of my everybody Drake guest here and welcome back to some more of the best besiege creations so we got a pretty jam-packed week this week I found a lot of really great creations I can't wait to show you guys but to start it off we got the x1 Valkyrie here now this is as you can see an armored vehicle that actually turns into a VTOL now if you don't know what a VTOL is it's vertical takeoff and landing basically it means this yes it turns into basically a freaking spaceship that is a vertical takeoff transformer oh god damn it of course I hit the grab pad okay let's try that again here and not screw it up this time this actually has a really cool way of using VTOL basically those fans that you just saw are just pushing up on the bottom of the craft they're not attached to it or anything so when you're when you stop using them they just simply float away and then you are left with the wonderful little spacecraft here. Now this thing also has the metal rails at the bottom so you can indeed land it if you do want to. It doesn't use wheels which is actually nice. It's a little easier to land. So if we try and land it here, it's kind of that turned into a hovercraft then and then you can easily take off again if you want to. So that is really cool. And one more thing it has, let's see if we can aim it up here. It also has a bomb bay. Oh my god. Okay, wrong button. I swear, if a vehicle uses more than 10 buttons, I am screwed. Let's try that again, though. You can actually drop bombs out of it and then explode them when you want to. Okay, I did break it down, and we are still able to drive. That's actually really hard to do just because of the button placement. Kind of confusing, but still really cool. I actually like the bay, too. You can see it just opens up, and all of them are stored in there, and then it closes up when you're done with it. So yeah, guys, that is the X1 Valkyrie. There we go. We always got to get the statue. Uh, we got a lot of great crafts today, but this is probably one of the top ones. I absolutely adore this thing. Okay, and our next design is actually a quadcopter, but you've never seen one like this. I can guarantee you that. This is called the Micro Quad, and as you can see by its footprint, it is a very small quadcopter. Now, it's also got something else really cool up its sleeve. It works as a quadcopter just fine, but if you want to use it as a glider, you also can. It actually has wings at the bottom that work totally like a glider. So I've never seen anything like that. I'm not very good at quadcopters, by the way, so bear with me here. But the fact that it's a glider quadcopter, that's just such a unique idea. I would have never thought of that, so I thought I would show it to you guys. I'm not very good with it, unfortunately, but what am I ever good with quadcopter designs? Okay, let's see if we can get one good glide session. You actually have to lean it in a very good way to make it glide well, but you can see it totally works fine. Um, a little hard to control, but that's just with me. I'm sure if you give it, you know, 30 minutes, you'll totally understand how to use this very unique design. And the awesome designs do not stop coming, my friends. Next up, we got an Alfa Romeo 4C. Now, this is based off of a real-life supercar, and it really is just a supercar. This one doesn't fly or anything. I just really like the attention to detail on this one. This does look like the actual car. Uh, I mean, you even got an engine back here. You can totally tell that's an engine. If you go inside, you got your steering wheel. You got your little cockpit. Hell, you even got a shifter knob and some, some controls there. It is just art on wheels. It is so beautiful, and it works remarkably well as well. It's got a great steering mechanism in it if we don't have to go on an incline, of course. These things only work good on flat ground. But as you can see... Really fast design as well. It does do a little bit of drifting and whatnot. I just really like this one for the look of it. I really like it once people try and make real life things inside this game and do it really well. So props to the designer for this one. It is beauty on wheels, essentially. Now this one might not look like much, ladies and gentlemen, but this is one of the best walkers I have ever seen. And Besiege This has really done well once again. His designs are always amazing. This one, I wouldn't really call the walker. It is a fucking runner. It also, you can, like, it's really hard to control when you turn it, so it's actually really fun to drive as well, because you get to the point where you're almost tipping over, or you're totally tipping over, and then it turns into a car. How great is that? <laughs> But yes, I think it's safe to say, I mean, look at the speed we're going at. This is probably the fastest walker in Besiege. I'm actually curious what happens when we stop. <laughs> it breaks and almost does a fucking barrel roll. I, I, I pro you Probably you could do a barrel roll if you get this done right. Oh my god, I just broke the leg. Okay, let's try with invincibility mode on. We're going to do the same thing here. I'm, I'm actually going in reverse right now, so it's just as fast in reverse as it is forward. And then stop and... 
<laughs> okay, it's not going to flip, but it's getting pretty close, and now we are in a breakdancing fit. Oh my god, look at this thing. This thing is one good breakdancer. We're back on our feet! Oh, we, we almost were. Come on, come on, we can do it. And come on, oh, for fuck's sakes. Okay, it's harder to get on your feet than it seems. Uh, now we're totally on our back here. But that is just amazing how fast this thing is. Uh, it does take a really fine churn to get it done right, because if you churn too much, you are going to flip it. But you can totally churn with this thing. You can totally control it quite well. Just takes a little bit of practice for this crazy-ass beast. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, the designs don't stop coming today. This has been a great week on Besiege. We got a BB-8 here, and it actually works like a freaking BB-8. This is... I, I, I don't even know how this thing's working, but the fact that the head can stay on top is blowing me away. You, you can also control the head so you can look to where you want to look, and it's really freaking fast. Like, look at I'm having a hard time stopping it now to go backwards. So this is just such a great design, and something that I appreciate that you really wouldn't notice unless you're actually playing with these creations is where you're looking is where forward is. So if you look at the head of the BB-8, and I turn it and I press forward over here, for example, it goes that way. So it actually follows the head's location, which I've never seen a creation do that before. You've always had to just deal with, sometimes if you turn around, you gotta go use the backwards key or something. Makes controlling these things a hell of a lot more complicated. This one, it works freaking flawless. So yeah, I thought you guys would like this one with the new Star Wars movie coming up. I am so excited for it, and this creation just made me ever so slightly more excited for it. Plus, it looks pretty badass when it's on fire. P but uh, pretty much anything looks badass when it's on fire. L let's face it here. Okay, and next up, someone has designed an extremely realistic-looking rubber tire. I know it doesn't look like a rubber tire now, but when you see the actual physics of it, it reacts just like a rubber tire. Unfortunately, they're having troubles connecting this to an actual creation uh, because it glitches out the game. So for right now, we can only enjoy the rubber tire in its rubber tireness. So here we go. Let's try this thing out. Bam, let it go, and let it roll down. Look at that. It, it looks and feels just like a rubber tire. Oh, we didn't get all the way. I, I really want to get all the way with this thing. Try number two. Let's do it. There we go. Let it go. And come on, keep rolling. <laughs> I love the bouncing. It looks freaking fantastic. And we did it all the way to the end. So yeah, guys, the rubber tire design. I don't know why I felt like showing this one. It just looks really cool to me. So I'm got, I gotta assume some of you will appreciate this wonderful design. It's gonna go all the way to the end of the map. This is one good rolling rubber tire. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's the edge, and oh, and it almost, it almost didn't make it, but we made it all the way to the edge of the map. That is one good rubber tire. <laughs> okay, and sticking with cool tire designs, we got this bad boy as well. This looks like it should be right out of Mad Max, I'm telling you that right now. But it works quite well here. You actually have to kind of balance it, and you can see these things pop out to make sure it doesn't fall over. It's not the fastest creation, but I've never seen something quite like it, so I appreciate that. It's also got a bit of weaponry on it. You got the cannons, of course. And you can also... Oh, we actually did make it fall over. But you can also extend this out to use the drills a bit as well. So now let's try and actually use these drills at what they're made for. To break through concrete. We're going to try and break through this castle, because destruction is always fun. And I figured it'd be fun to try it out. So first of all, let's extend it, and then head forward. I'm actually worried that it's going to start toppling over. Yes, it is, as you can see. And the unfortunate part is it's really hard to aim, but it goes right through that damn castle. I wouldn't say it's the most convenient creation, but that would scare the hell out of me coming to my castle, I'll tell you that much. Okay, and I know we mentioned Mad Max before, but now we do truly have a Mad Max-inspired buggy. And this thing is just bonkers fast. It also, like, stops right on a friggin' dime. Like, look at it, it bounces. It does wheelies. Look at that. Oh, my God, the best wheelie ever. Unfortunately, I lagged there in the middle of it. But holy fuck is this thing fast. All right, let's see if we can do a little bit of a jump here. Bam! Oh, why is it lagging at the worst times? I don't know why it's lagging at all. It shouldn't be lagging, but, uh, damn, we crashed and burned that one. <laughs> But yeah, it's just nice to see land-based designs that not only look good, but drive extremely well as well. I mean, look at this. I'm drifting all the way around this corner. It is just bonkers fast. All right, let's try and do another one of those wheelies. Oh my god. Just, the, I don't know why, how it has so much grip. They must have modded it to have more grip than what it's supposed to have. Because usually wheels don't react this way. Okay, let's try it again. Backwards and... Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> So yeah, guys, this is the Mad Max buggy. This thing is just 
freaking bonkers to drive. One of my favorite land vehicles in a long time. Okay, and the next design is something that you probably can't tell what it is right now, and then even when I'm actually using it, it's really hard to tell what it is. But if we slow it down, you might get an idea of what it's supposed to be. Now, does it look like a dragonfly to you? Because that's exactly what it is. This is how they flap their wings too, I believe. So it works remarkably well, and you guys seem to really enjoy the ornithopter-like designs that I've been doing. So here's another one, except it's not a bird this time. It's a wonderful little dragonfly. It's almost got the uh, insect-like movements as well, kind of sporadic and crazy. So, I don't know, I just really like this design. A little hard to drive, but uh, overall, it's quite easy after you get the hang of it. And last but not least, we have Penis Boy. Yes, it is a penis-based robot that doesn't really do anything, but... This. It is seriously just a penis on a robot. I don't even know how to, like, really use it. It kind of balances itself, which is quite amazing at the start, but after you actually start using it... Oh, yeah, there we go. And this just bounce around here a bit. <laughs> don't fall over! Don't! Oh, you fell over, you bastard. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, I broke my legs! No! My legs! Oh, God. A whole new meaning to dick push-ups. <laughs> Look at this. Yes! Dick push-ups. It's the best thing ever. Well, I've never done it like this before, but that's an interesting pose. <laughs> Let's do some fucking breakdancing while my dick goes crazy. And that's it for this episode of The Best Besieged Creations. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. There was a lot of great creations. I'll try and put as many as I can in the description of this video so you can play with them as well. So once again, guys, thanks so much for your support. Thanks for watching and liking. And remember to keep those suggestions coming for what I should create. You actually, you guys were so fixated on the creations last episode that not many of you suggested anything. So we're going to skip it for this week. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, but I will keep looking out for some great ideas. And if you guys give me some, we'll do them in the future episodes. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one.